Instagram, one of those platforms you can either use to make a ton of money or waste hours on end. Today, my friends, we're gonna be doing the former one. We are gonna be using Instagram to sign clients, make a lot of money and grow our agency. Now, if you're new to my channel, Good to see you here. This is episode two of the client closing series where I show you guys the platforms that you should be using and how to go about it to sign clients for your agency. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you three strategies that you can use for Instagram. These strategies have worked tremendously well for me. And the methods I'm gonna be sharing with you today are the works of two years of putting my head down and battle testing these concepts in the market, getting a lot of rejections, getting a lot of yeses, and eventually getting success. So they can just watch this video and you don't have to put the hundreds of hours that I put into learning these strategies. So I really hope you guys enjoy this and without further ado, let's go right into it. So the first thing we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing lead sourcing, finding the leads that then we're gonna reach out to. And I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step on how to actually do this. Now, first things first is I'm gonna be hopping on my phone and walking you guys through the whole thing. But I actually recommend you do this whole thing on your laptop. Why? Simply because Instagram, as you obviously know, is highly addictive. So by not having to do it on your phone means you don't have to have the app downloaded on your phone. And number two, you don't get distracted when you log on to do business, right? So you actually use Instagram to generate money and not waste your time. So I recommend you do it on your laptop. Also, it's just easier to go ahead and take the lead and put it in your CRM or whatever you use to insert your lead. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, there's gonna be two search engines within Instagram that we are gonna be using to get that first lead. And once we have the first lead, we can just go down the rabbit hole and find a ton of leads, right? And it's almost like a, a spiral effect. So the two search engines we're gonna use is number one, the hashtag engine, and number two, the place engine. So on Instagram, for example, we can have places, tags, accounts, Etc. Etc. So the way it's gonna work is at this point you're probably crystal clear on what your sub niche is, right? And so you need to understand your sub niche like no one else. I always preach that. And you should know about your sub niche more than anyone, right? So for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and pick the vegan sub niche within the e-commerce sector. So if I were doing the vegan niche, I would get clear on the big expositions, exhibitions, and events around the veganism movement and the big events for vegan brands, which I'm sure there are a ton, right? So once you get crystal clear on those, you can actually search for those places on Instagram using the places tag, right? And a bunch of different posts are gonna come up featuring a bunch of different brands, which at the end of the day, a large percentage of those are gonna be leads that you can use. So that is the places search engine. The other search engine is the hashtag search engine. For this example, you should be clear on what the trending hashtags for your sub niche are, right? So if it's vegan, it might be veganism, it might be vegan life, it might be vegan living, whatever it is, right? Uh, now I'm gonna be very uncreative for this video, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in vegan brand. I know, right, it's very, very uncreative. Uh, and here we've got a ton of different posts, right? Now, little warning, what I will say on this video is, I highly, highly recommend you do not use the brands that I feature on this video. I'm sure there's gonna be people that do, those people are gonna lose, and uh, what I found throughout my journey is that the people that tend to copy uh, word by word or stuff that they see on a video and they usually copy that one thing instead of applying it to their sub-niche or instead of getting creative, those are people that tend to lose. So don't worry too much about it, uh, just apply it for your own case. But let's go ahead and uh, pick this picture, for example, right? So here we've got clearly a brand. So we're gonna click on their profile and uh, their brand name is Cappy, right? Uh, and so this is a prospect, a qualified prospect, right? We can see that they've got great content, which would do amazing for ads. We can see that they've got an audience, um, not very engaged, I would say, but just amazing content overall. Uh, so what I would do is obviously, bear in mind, I would be on my computer. So I would tap on their uh, URL, then I'll check out their Facebook page, their Facebook ad library, see if they're running ads, I see how they're doing on that facet, and then if they're a good fit, I would go ahead and add them to the CRM, okay? So as you guys probably remember, I told you that we only need one single lead from these search engines, right? So what we do next is we go ahead and we click this little downwards arrow, okay? That is gonna populate a bunch of recommended profiles. So we've got Eco Warrior, we've got Cecilia, uh, we've got Waste, Waste Free Planet, um, so most of these are gonna be, you know, if we tap into them, they're gonna be brands, right? Eco Warrior is another brand, etc., etc. Earth Tribes. So these brands are probably also qualified prospects. So you can just go down the rabbit hole, right? Once we find another brand, then again, we tap on the recommended section and then we go, right? 
know the origin and another brand. That is the way you want to do Instagram lead sourcing. Now, what I will say on this recommended search engine is that the way the algorithm works, what I've personally found is that it works best for brands that are between 5,000 to around 60, 70,000 followers. The reason why this is because if I just really quickly cut to the Adidas uh, page, so for example, here we are inside the Adidas page. If I click on the recommended, I actually get BMW, Off-White, Bundesliga, Porsche, Premier League, uh, Mercedes-Benz, you know, Louis Vuitton, Olympic Games, just a bunch of different brands that really have no close affinity between uh, between each other, Disney, um, but it's simply just big profiles within uh, Instagram, right? So it actually optimizes so much better when it's smaller profiles. I recommend between 5K to around uh, 60, 70K uh, followers. Um, that is really just a Gucci spot. So that is that for finding leads on Instagram and now onto the actual outreach. So now we're onto the fun part, which is actually reaching out to these companies. And what is the best way of reaching out to these companies? The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you reach out to the founder. Do not reach out to the brand. It's very important that you do not do that. Usually the accounts for these brands are run by another agency, maybe a social media management agency. And it's not in their interest to actually respond to other agencies. They probably cannot be bothered and it could literally put their job in danger. So in most cases, do not reach out to the brand account. What you wanna do is you wanna find the founder and reach out to the founder on Instagram. Very important that where you find the lead is where you reach out to the lead. Now, the way you can find the founder is doing a very quick Google search. Usually the website will tell you, or you can just go on LinkedIn and find the founder. Usually the brand will be following the founder. So you can literally just go on the following, type in their name and their profile will usually come up. So now that we know how to find the founder, what do we actually say to the founder? And what I recommend for this is the cold video intro method for Instagram. Basically what it means is you get your phone and then you record a little video and you send it over to them via Instagram DM. The reason why I'm a big fan of the cold video intro method is because when you send someone a DM on Instagram, you will go on the request folder. And if you send a video, they won't be able to see that video until they accept the request. So it will actually pique their curiosity to see what the video is all about. But what I recommend is you also alternate between messages because maybe you're not the best at video and that could be the reason why they're not answering your DMs. So how do we actually structure the cold video intro? The way I like to do it is first, you wanna introduce yourself, who you are, then what you do, then you wanna jump into the sandwich method, which I'll speak about in just a second. And the final thing is your irresistible offer. So I'm gonna give you guys a little example of me uh, doing the, the cold video intro. Uh, now, bear in mind, this is probably gonna be rough uh, because it's, uh, it's on the spot and it's pretty early in the morning, um, but let's go right into it. Now, her name is Laura, let's just assume, right? And we are doing a vegan brand just for the sake of this video. So again, I would just get my phone just like this and I would say, Hey Laura, I'm here and it's great connecting with you over Instagram. I actually run a social media marketing agency helping vegan brands just like brand name, uh, double their sales online using the power of Facebook ads while maintaining incredible brand congruence. Now I actually stumbled upon whatever her brand name is uh, and for whatever reason you actually stumbled upon it. Um, and, um, and I noticed you guys have an incredible product. I love the fact that you guys are using sustainable ingredients and impacting the lives of millions of people. Now, I'm pretty nosy, so I took a look around your Facebook ad library and I noticed that you guys are not running any Facebook ads, which is honestly mind boggling because you have an incredible product that deserves to be in the hands of a lot more people. So Laura, I know you're super busy and uh, what I'd love to do is jump on a very quick call, no obligation, no strings attached, but we're gonna discuss this and this and that. Um, and I'm gonna leave my schedule link right below where you can pick a time that best suits you and I uh, really look forward to discussing with you uh, further. If it's not a good fit, um, no worries about it. And no obligation, you'll take actionable strategies that you can implement. So I'm uh, looking forward to it and uh, take care, speak soon. So that's how I would approach it. Was it fast? Yes, it was, right? I talk pretty fast as you guys probably already know if you're not new to the channel. And uh, also I wanna grab their attention and you only have one minute on Instagram. Otherwise the, the whole thing gets uh, cut out and I really don't recommend you go over one, two minutes max. Um, so that is that for the cold video intro. And with that being said, let's go right into the final point, which is the profile funnel, which is an incredible strategy that I haven't seen anyone talk about in this space. So with that being said, let's go right into it. So the profile funnel, what is it and how can you use it to sign clients? Now the first massive misconception that I see around Instagram is that you need a ton of followers to reach out to clients. And I would actually argue that it probably doesn't really serve you because if you have a ton of followers, that probably means that you have a ton of content around something that is probably not what you're helping them with. 
and that's not really gonna land very well in a professional setting. So you do not need many followers. As long as you have a clean profile, it should be good. And so that actually leads me to the first point of the profile funnel, which is having a clean profile. You wanna make sure you get rid of all those pictures with your friends, where you're drinking, partying, whatever you're doing, right? Just pictures that are not professional. Does this mean that you need to delete all the pictures with your family, friends, and just you living life in general? No, right? You wanna look like a human. You don't necessarily have to look like this very professional curated person, right? At the end of the day, you need to look like a human, but you do not wanna look like a party animal. That's the only thing. Then you also wanna have a clear mission. I've talked plenty of times about the mission on my channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I recommend you go ahead and check out my free masterclass down below. There's nothing for sale and just, you're gonna be able to take strategies there and implement them for your agency. So it's linked down in the description, uh, but basically you wanna have a clear mission and ideally a core achievement that you've accomplished for clients or if you're completely new just don't include that okay so now that we have our profile clean what do we do now what's the whole profile funnel about right and so what the profile funnel is all about is when a prospect that you reach out to follows your profile but may not convert it there and then we want to get a lot of impressions with them so that we maintain top of mind awareness and the way you do this is through Instagram stories, okay? So if you are reaching out to prospects on Instagram, and let's just say that 20% of them actually go ahead and follow you because you've approached your outreach in the right way and you haven't come across as this very negative nuance, you have come across as this person who actually appreciates their brand, right? And shares love with them, they're probably gonna follow you, right? And if they do follow you, a certain percentage is gonna watch your stories. So what you wanna do with stories is you wanna go ahead and show them that you're actually running your agency and working with clients, right? So give them that, that social proof, right? And convey a bit of value every once in a while, right? And then maybe show your results. So as long as you're doing those three things, you are using the profile funnel to your advantage to have that top of mind awareness and to bring them back to your profile to potentially sign them on later down the line, right? Now, this does not mean you have to become an Instagram rock star, right? And post stories every single day because the more stories you post, the less time you're putting into your agency. But you can just allocate a certain period of your day, for example, 15 minutes or 10 minutes, right? To shoot a very quick story um, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, for example, right? And that will do the job. So guys, that is that for the Instagram method and how to actually sign clients using Instagram. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think we covered quite a lot of content um, and if you did, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Just YouTube just finds it extremely, extremely sexy when that little gray thumbs up turns blue. So YouTube would love it. I would really appreciate it. And my team would absolutely go crazy because it takes us quite a lot of time and quite a lot of energy to put these videos together out for you guys. Also, if you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency with a specific focus on sales, outreach, and e-commerce. So if you don't want to miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my YouTube channel. And the final thing, and I'm done plugging, uh, the final thing is my free Facebook group Matchmind called The Client Closers, an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. I'm doing live interviews in there, live trainings, right? Stuff that I could very easily charge for and live ask me anything. So go ahead and check out the link in bio, apply, and if you're a good fit, we'll let you in. And as always, guys, I appreciate you for watching my content and keep killing it.